Welcome back. My guest today is Santiago Costa, lawyer and founder of Bayfront Law. Santiago, before we went to break, we were talking a little bit about how you and Bayfront Law differentiate yourself in a competitive business. You were talking about challenging some of the stereotypes that the public has about lawyers. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Certainly. Um, typically, what you'll hear is a lawyer is uh, kind of inaccessible. Um, the language that they're using isn't uh, easily easy to understand. Um, and then fees, we don't know what we're going to pay when we, uh, when we go and we talk to a lawyer. So that creates a lot of barriers with the client. What we try and do is break those down. Um, we've taken sort of a fixed fee approach so that there's transparency in the fees. Uh, we use a technology forward uh, sort of approach to be able to bridge the gap and, and we're able to, to access the entire market of Ontario. And so we are readily accessible, we are easy to speak to, we're friendly, and, uh, and you know what you're going to pay. So these are kind of the, the responses to those questions. That's fantastic. So I think that's a really great segue to ask, what exactly is the role of a lawyer in the real estate transaction? Sure. Um, in the simplest terms, there's a registry, um, a land registry that has a list of all the properties in Ontario. And the lawyer is the one that is able to modify that registry. So uh, they register what's called the transfer, which is what happens when you buy or sell a property uh, on a mortgage. Uh, mortgages are registered, their charges on properties. And so the, the lawyer um, is the one that is making that change. And behind that change, we are uh, pre uh, preparing paperwork. We're uh, corresponding with other lawyers, with, um, with banks, um, and putting together all that paperwork. And then on the financial side, we uh, collect and disperse money that could be from uh, sale proceeds or that could be from mortgages. Fantastic. So obviously, in the last couple of years, the real estate market has shifted a lot. And I'm sure that you felt that in your business. How have you seen that sort of roller coaster impacting your clients? Sure. Um, we've all heard about um, access to housing, um, interest rates, um, and all of my clients in one capacity or another are at an intersection of these sort of really uh, contentious issues. And so the short answer would be that all of these deals have an added layer of complexity. And, and so all of my clients are dealing with that complexity in terms of financing projects, uh, financing new builds in a, in a climate that's very different than what it was previously. And then my role is amplified and it's broadened. So I am more in touch than ever with realtors and mortgage brokers um, and trying to uh, put together deals or find creative ways to make it happen. Yeah, I think that that's been felt uh, in different sectors that are sort of across that, that industry for sure. So what do you love about what you do? Uh, I love being able to, um, to help that client realize the goal. I mean, and that's, that really is the, the back bone of, of what every lawyer wants to do. They want to serve the client and take those instructions and realize those goals um, and solve a conflict, solve an impasse, or achieve a goal for a client. And, and this lets me do that. Yeah. And it's got to be a great feeling on closing day when you get to let your clients know the house is yours. That's certainly the best part. Young <laughs> homeowners, uh, new homeowners, that sort of thing. It's, it's wonderful. So then on the flip side, what are some of the most challenging things about your work? The biggest challenge that I'd have is the same one every entrepreneur is likely to, to identify as their biggest challenge, which is delegation. So when uh, you're running uh, any sort of business, you're not only doing the core skills that you're good at, which for me, substantively, it's, it's law. But now it's marketing, it's financing, it's insurance, it's licensing, it's hiring. And so um, delegating is, uh, and knowing who to delegate, when to delegate a task, that is what I've found to be the, the toughest part of, uh, of the job. And that makes so, sense, so much sense because you had said part of your uh, desire to become an entrepreneur is wanting to have that control and have you know, the ability to make those decisions. So I can definitely see that being a struggle for many entrepreneurs. So when things do get stressful or, you know, when work is tough, how do you decompress? What do you do, you know, to, to let loose and relax? Sure. Uh, well, it starts with a bit of routine. I'm, I'm in the gym every day and that's kind of the first line of defense. 
And then when, uh, when things do get tough, I am uh, at a dinner table with friends, family, my daughter, uh, who just turned five. And, awesome. uh, and that's kind of, that's that brings you back into- So nice. Yeah, 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 family and friends. Stick around much more with our guest, Santiago Costa, when Canadian Innovators continues.